Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawa. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which we partake of Christ, His sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with His grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. He gave them breath in heaven to be their food, and this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, He gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of our womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of our womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour, Pour forth to beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the sorrowful mysteries. The first sorrowful mystery the agony in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the feet of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the feet of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage. O Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God, despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, who are every glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, His only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with a splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve the Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer for the Golden Anniversary of the Dominican Province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude 
on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love is strived and incarnate. O God the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, and of the consecration of our lives to holy preaching. In speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with mutual charity binding us all. In the gospel we share with all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, Pray for us. Our Holy Father, St. Dominic. Pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Friday, the 34th week of Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us praise the Lord, in Him is all our delight. Come, let, Come, us, let us praise us the Lord. Lord, in Him is all our delight. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Come, Come let, let us, us praise, praise the Lord, in Him is all our delight. delight. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Come, let us praise the Lord. In Him is all our delight. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples, you guide the nations on earth. Come, let us praise the Lord. In Him is all our delight. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Come, let us praise the Lord. In Him is all our delight. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God our God has blessed us. May God still give us His blessing, till the ends of the earth revere Him. Come, Come let us trust. praise the Lord. In, In him, him is all our delight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, Come let, let us praise trust. the Lord. In, In Him is all our delight. Please be seated. A humble, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness, and your compassion blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt, O cleanse me from my sin. My offenses truly I know them, my sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? That ye may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, 
and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humbled contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Even in your anger, Lord, you will remember compassion. O Lord, I have heard your renown, and feared, O Lord, your work. In the course of the years, revive it. In the course of the years, make it known. In your wrath, remember compassion. God comes from Teman, the Holy One from Mount Paran, covered the heavens with His glory, and with His praise the earth is filled. His splendor spreads like the light, rays shine forth from beside Him, where His power is concealed. You come forth to save your people, to save your anointed one. You tread the sea with your steeds, amid journeying of the deep waters. I hear and my body trembles, at the sound my lips quiver. Decay invades my bones, my legs tremble beneath me. I await the day of distress that will come upon the people who attack us. For though the fig tree blossom not, nor fruit beyond the vines, though the yields of the olive fail, and the terraces produce no nourishment, though the flocks disappear from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, yet will I rejoice in the Lord, and exult in my saving God. God, my Lord, is my strength. He makes my feet swift of the, as those of hinds, and enables me to go upon the ice. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth, the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please so stand. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in great measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. In a vision, I, Daniel, saw during the night the four winds of heaven stirred up the great sea, from which emerged four immense beasts, each different from each other. The first was like a lion, but with eagle's wings. While I watched, the wings were plucked. It was raised from the ground to stand on two feet, like a man, and given a human mind. The second was like a bear, it was raised up on one side, and among the teeth in its mouth were three tusks. It was given the order, up, devour much flesh. After this, I looked and saw another beast, like a leopard. On its back were four wings like those of the bird, and it had four heads. To this beast, dominion was given. After this, in the visions of the night, 
I saw forth I saw the fourth beast, different from all the others, terrifying, horrible, and of extraordinary strength. It had gate iron teeth, and which it devoured and crushed, and what was left is trampled with its feet. I was considering the ten horns it had, when suddenly another, a little horn, sprang out of their midst and the three of the previous horns were torn away to make room for it. This horn had eyes like men, and a mouth that spoke arrogantly. As I watched, thrones were set up, and the ancient one took his throne. His clothing was snow white, and the, bray, the hair of his head was white as wool. His throne was flames of fire, with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him, and myriads upon myriads attended to him. The court was convened, and the books were opened. I watched, then, from the midst of the aggregant words which the horn spoke, until the beast was slain, and its body thrown into the fire to be burned up. The other beasts, which also lost their dominion, were granted a prolongation of life for a time and a season. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the Ancient One and was presented before him, he received dominion glory, and kingship. Nations and people of every language serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. You springs, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Ye dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. All ye birds of the air, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Please stand. direct and raise your heads because your redemption is at hand. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Consider the fig tree and all the other trees. When their buds burst open, you see for yourselves and know that summer is now near. In the way, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. 
Amen, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang gumaga po sa inyong lahat, sa ating lahat. Sino ho ba dito ang mga nagising at pagkagising kanina ay medyo nananakit-nakit na yung mga kasukasuan. Hindi kaagad-agad nakatayo sa langaw ang sinasabi ng katawan niyan sa atin. Tumatanda na. Kailangan ng mag-stretch-stretch ng konti. Our body tells us. No? Uh, our body gives us a sign. In the gospel that we read today, the Lord did not tell His disciples when they were looking for the kingdom of God, nasaan ba yung pagahari ng Diyos? He did not ask the disciples to go listen to the preachers. Ano yung sinabi ng Panginoon? Consider the fig tree. In other words, observe what is happening around you. Observe yung mga pananim. Kapag kaya ay namulaklak na, ibig sabihin doon sa kanilang konteksto, ay eh malapit na mag-summer. Indicator. Hindi ho yan nawawala sa atin sa tuwing dumuluwas po kami papunta ng Manila, dito na lang sa Tiplex. Akikita mo yung pag-ikot ng panahon. Kapag yung, ano, yung mga palay ay uh, ginto na, it's about to be harvested. And you know that after the harvesting, magsisimula na naman yan, mangingitim yan. No? At magsisimula na naman yung pag araw at panahon ng pagtatanim. No? And uh, beberde yan, ibig sabihin mahihinog na naman. And just a little time, some weeks, some, some months, magiging golden na naman yan at aanihin. How do we know this? By observation. By being sensitive to what is around us. Parang sinasabi sa atin ng Ibanghelyo, marami kang matututunan hindi lang sa kapwa mo, kundi sa pagiging observant mo sa mga pangyayari sa paligid mo. And to be sensitive. Ang isa po sa tinuturo sa atin ng ating simbahan ay yung marunong matutong magbasa ng signs of the times. Ano yung signs of the times? Ang signs of the times ay mahalaga sapagkat lahat naman tayo ay naghahanap. Ito na ba yung paghahari ng Diyos? Dito ko ba makikita ang Panginoon? Dito ba presente ang Panginoon? Dito ba wala? Nasaan ba? Nasa pakikipagkapwa ko? Sabi ng Panginoon is go, consider the fig tree. In other words, be sensitive to what is happening around you. Be mindful. Mga kabataan ko ngayon ay uh, isang value ang itinuturo, yung mindfulness. Becoming sensitive to what is happening around us. Yung ma matutong magbasa ng signs of the times. Sa ating mga Pilipino, yung at least yung mga mga may edad na dito na nakapag-aral, lalong-lalo na sa mga public, public school, hindi lang sa public school, kahit na sa private school, lalong-lalo na sa mga school na mga madre, di ba? Natuturuan tayo na pagka tinignan ka, ibig sabihin nun, umayos ka. Di ba? No? Makuha ka sa tingin. No? Kaya yung mga kabataan noon, eh, tawag nito eh, Pagka tinignan na ng nanlalaki yung mata ni ma'am, ibig sabihin, umayos ka na. Pero sa ibang kultura, hindi yun. Hindi yun mabasa. Sapagkat iba eh, hindi, hindi yun ang ibig sabihin. But for us, we know. No? Toe the line, umayos ka. Reading the signs of the times. Sa susunod na linggo, Itong linggong darating, brother, ito na ay Advent season at ito na naman ang season ng paghahanda sa pagdating ng Panginoon. At ang patuloy nating pagtatanong ay kung paano natin ihahanda ang ating sarili para sa isang 
maayos, makabuluhan, makakristyanong pagtanggap, paghihintay sa pagdating ng Panginoon. We're going to prepare ourselves. We're going to clean our lenses sa mga mata natin. The cobwebs. Ilinisin natin yung ating mga kalooban na kung anong mga sama ng loob dyan na hindi nakakatulong na makakita tayo ng malinaw. But at the same time, we are going to expect kailan kaya darating ang Panginoon sa buhay ko. For all we know, He is already around us. For all we know, He is already among us. Kaya nga, napakahalaga yung matuto magbasa ng signs of the times. Go consider the fig tree. Go consider what is happening around you because God is there. Go consider yung pangangailangan ng kapwa mo because God is there. Go consider how you can help because it is God who is urging you to help the least of your brothers. Be friends, Tuloy tayo na nagahanap ng Panginoon sa buhay natin. Tulad nyo, agad yung gumising ano, nakalaya na kayo sa, tawag ko nga noong isang linggo, eh, parang nakalabas sa kural ang mga tao. Ang matagal na pagkakulong. Excited. For the very first time, nakakita ako ng balun dyan sa labas. Nagtitinda ng balun. Excited. Come out. Dear friends, we are all longing for God. And that's why you are here. Marami kayong gustong idulog sa Kanya. For all you know, it is already there. It's just that the cobwebs of our eyes prevents us from seeing it. For all you know, what, that, that what you are asking right now has already been given to you hindi mo lang ma-appreciate sapagkat ang kinihingi mo ay blockbuster na ibibigay sa iyo. For all you know, it is already being given in small measures, in different kinds. Taya ka ng taya ng loto, hindi ka nananalo, pero hindi mo nakikita na hindi ka nagkakasakit. Gracia yan. Health over wealth. Sabi nga nung isang kakilala ko, kahit na hindi ako umaman, wag lang magkakasakit ng malala. Di ba? So, God is already present there. And sometimes we fail to recognize the hand of God in those things, in those events, sapagat iba yung hinahanap ng lente natin. Go, consider the fig tree. Read the signs of the times. Be mindful. Because for all we know, God is already among us and even with us. Can you all stand? The Lord Jesus has called us to watch for the day of His return. Let us come to the Father in prayer, watching and waiting for His return. Let your response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may respond to the call for conversion and renewal. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That people of goodwill may work together to put an end to war and hatred, oppression and injustice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may increase our awareness of the presence of Christ among the poor and the suffering people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the sick may be given strength and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all of those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For vocations and the needs of the province, and for our brothers and ministry at St. John Lateran and St. Albert the Great, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady the Holy Rosary of Manawa and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that our friends and relatives who have died may experience everlasting joy in the company of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Join me also in praying for all our co-workers in the vineyard of the Lord, for all our workers here at the Minor Basilica, our Paris, and the Tran Manawag. May the Lord may continue to bless them and reward them for their generosity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Also join me in praying for all our Dominican institutions, especially for our hospitals in this time of uh, difficulties and challenges because of the pandemic that we may be able to respond charitably and compassionately to all those who are in need, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, listen to our prayers, open our eyes to your presence all around us, make us closer to you each day, grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God, our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, for to the earth work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God, our creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, for the divine work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please so stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for a good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which at your bidding we dedicate to your name. And in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, grant us unfailing obedience to your commands. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. we we'll lift them up to and the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, all the, your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, 
Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be creators to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. So stand at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, our healer, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, no blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We pray the credo of stewardship. All together, I believe in the God of love, the, the owner of everything who possesses, possesses everyone. everyone. I believe, I believe in, the in the God of mercy who has chosen me to be our steward of Mother Nature and Mother Church. In spite of who I am and what I have done, and in spite of the infidelities he knows I will still commit. I believe in the power of giving and in the power of loving like Jesus. Because love is the only way to holiness. Giving is the best proof of loving, and perfect renunciation leads to unlimited fruitfulness. I believe that in freely giving my time, in humbly sharing my talents, and in generously sacrificing my treasures, the Lord will always provide. He will take care of all my needs and bless me with infinite reward on earth and in heaven. I will be the first to give. I will not wait for the others. I will keep on giving even if those others do not give. I will not be afraid to have none. I believe that the, time, the best time to share is now, not tomorrow, for tomorrow is an excuse of the greedy. I will keep my needs and wants simple and few, for I believe that in reducing my selfishness, I will grow in happiness and holiness. I am the steward of the Lord. I will return all this to Him with abundant yield. Much is asked of me, because much has been given to me. I praise the Lord for His kindness to me, now and forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Through the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has, he has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all that hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, 
to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine in those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Through the, the tender, tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you through Christ our Lord. Amen. For I give the final blessing. Maraming salamat. Kumulik sa pagdalaw ninyo sa minor basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at lalong higit sa pakikisa ninyo sa banal na minsa. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. A Mass ascended, go in peace to love and serve the Lord through one another. Thanks be to God. We shall now say the prayer for the blessing ng mga may sakit and also the prayer for the blessing ng inyong religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, freedom from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, we will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. For your religious articles, we pray. In memory of the miseries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.